Hey guys, this is Rose from Rewritten Vintage Journals, and this is take three in my crazy life. Now I'm too tired. <laughs> okay, this is my newest eco dyed pocket style or pocket field notes size traveler's notebook journal cover. That was a mouthful. The A51 has sold. <clears throat> so sorry guys. This actually was waxed with a soft um, beeswax on the front and on the back you can't tell. There's no, there's no sheen to it. Um, it just protects it and I think it really would have been fine without it. But I just wanted to try it. And I love it. It's gonna be hard to part with this one. So I used to make this style notebook years ago when I first started before junk journals. And I shied away from it. I actually was making them leather and then I, I hand sewed all the stitching. I just really liked the stitching. Um, but my sewing machine wouldn't go through it and I didn't wanna invest in a big leather sewing machine. So I kind of shied away from it and then got into junk journaling. But because this eco dyeing is, uh, you never know what you're going to get and it turned out so well, then I thought this would be perfect to try it. And so it has the elastic strings and it can hold four like little notebooks in there. It comes with two. And then I just made, this was an afterthought, this was a hydrangea flower and this was a part of it and I cut it out. And you can remove that and use it as a tag inside the journal if you want. But I just, I put it on there and put whispers on there because just because I think that when I think of flowers, it's like when they open up, they're whispering. And I just really, really love it. So let's get into it here. So there's a pocket in the front and then in the back. And then I added... This is one of my roses from my garden that I laminated and I put some sparkles in there. And then both notebooks are um, my eco prints on watercolor paper from this year. And I just really love how they turned out. You know, we have the pinks, the blues. And I think all together, both notebooks are 76 pages front and back. And this is, where's my paper? So the journal, so there's your hand. The journal is um, four and a half, 4.25 wide, six inches tall. And it's, it's considered the pocket size or field note size. So the, these here are my eco dyed paper. So I use the, um, the dye from the, Oh, I don't want to say it wrong, cochineal bug, to do this this pink in the background. And it's you actually have to crush it up into a powder. So I use the, the leftover dye to dye all these papers. And I really like how they turned out. So I wanted space, of course, to um, make your notes or journals and then little pictures if you want. And I just absolutely love this. And I was so glad that I found it and that I included it. So there is always music amongst the trees and in the garden, but our hearts must be still to hear it. And this here is the, um, the baker's paper, the parchment paper that I actually wrapped um, this around the dowel to keep the colors from bleeding. So I, I kept the, the strings are from when I boiled it and eco dyed it and all of these papers are, I kept everything. Perfect size for your, your purse. Here are some grasses, eco dyed paper. And there's a little tuck in there. Copper staples. Some more eco dyed paper. And I just love this. So some peonies, piece of sari silk, and then just a little tag.
and I just love I just love that so here is a little envelope that I made and then inside is a little violet specimen there so you can make it into a charm staple it in leave it in the envelope Tim Holt seed bead or mini paper clips with the seed beads on it there's the cover could really easily put pockets this is going into the second signature or notebook. And this here I absolutely love. With every breath of nature's depth, she was becoming more herself. Love it. And this is, um, I just punched that out. So you can see the leaf imprints there with some tags. And here is a little envelope, little mini card there and some tags, little collage there. And then I just had to, I just love vintage photos. It's, it's just a replica, but these ladies are sitting in the garden and I thought, well, this was fitting, very fitting. And so I made it into a pocket and then included um, one of, I cut one of my eco dyed prints down and this is the um, purple smoke bush. And then this here is um, a little tag with its botanical name and then this, the, the name that most people know it as the smoke bush. And then here are the middle strings, and I'll show you that in a minute. Really love this concept. Whoever came up with it was a genius, really. And I cut one of these. Um, this is the smoke, the purple smoke wash again. And I just cut one of them out and made a little collage and made it into a tuck. Nature's always nature always wears the colors of the spirit. Just love it. love that and this here is a little extra journaling spot there and that's it and then this here is a beautiful um, journaling card and of course I added it because of the, the colors so guys, here is here is the um, the best part about these these covers, right? So if you you can get these um, notebooks, you can get them in the store. You can order them off Etsy. So when they are full, all you need to do is pull the string up, pull your notebook out, store your notebook somewhere else, and replace it. Okay, guys, it's it's. It's a way to keep your journal cover so that if a favorite journal cover that you always love. And so in reality, this journal cover can hold four notebooks. Okay. I absolutely love this little set and I want to make more of them. And then just goes like that so I don't know if I talked about this in the front part because I this is my third video this material is called craft tax they use they they mock it as or they say it's the vegan leather so it's very very highly durable it's like a paper it's a paper product um, but it acts like a fabric and so you can wash it dry it iron it um i could have washed it and and got a different texture dried it could have crumpled it up and it would have made a different texture but because i was eco dyeing it i did want it flat um you can sew it you can glue it it's um 0.55 millimeters thick and so it won't tear very easily 
Um, you can emboss it. So, I mean, this here stuff is really, really, this is really good for making journals. So guys, there's a crash course in craft text and traveler's notebooks. And um, I'm so happy to be finally able to finish this and get the video done and have it. It's already listed in my Etsy shop. And um, because it is a very thin journal, I wanna keep the price down. And so for those in Canada, I will ship it flat, open it up and flat. And so it'll go letter mail. And the same as the US, it is, um, It'll be a couple extra dollars. However, if either or Canada or US want me to ship this journal faster with a tracking number insurance, I can do that. Just contact me ahead of time. It's usually about $23, $23 Canadian. And I usually just tack that on the price. And so, but really guys, It's small enough that I can go letter mail or air mail, or small packets. So thanks for watching guys, and I hope you'll love it, get some inspiration, and um, perfect size, perfect size for your um, purse in your hand, and um, happy journaling guys, bye.